Hey Snapchat! We are here at the precursor of Kineticon. We in a room right now. So this is our room. Uh three niggas in a bed. So we know we're going somebody's gonna get the floor. You? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so they just make fun of me because I snore. Mm -hmm. and no, you just don't snore. Jurassic Parker. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Let's go check out the bathroom, see what's up in here. You know, see you. Uh, ooh! 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 So, this is the bathroom, okay. Snap that ooh. Oh, this is a walk in! Yeah. We can walk in this one! Did last year too. Okay. No, but the other one was a tub. And no. this one we can actually stand up and take a shower. This is cool. Look, it's a toilet. Everybody got those. Yeah, everything's so nice and white. I need this in my life. Ooh, look at that. Hello, handsome guy. How are you doing today? Ooh, from the fourth floor. Yeah, travelers. Brother man. Yeah. So I just said, Daryl just said a bed in the bed so you masturbated. And I said, yeah, I did last year. Just playing. And he's like, yeah, I did too. I did. I did joke. However, I did joke. However, you said that like we did that the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid as fuck. Yeah, well, that's some straight bullshit. You know that, right? Uh, nobody masturbated. All right. I got kicked in the head trying to sleep though. Bastard. Oh yeah. Something that I forgot. I gotta do. Oh, she gonna be here this year, probably. Niggas, <laughs> 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 get off of me. Hey. Get the fuck out of you bastard! <laughs> get the bitches! <laughs> black on black crime! <laughs> it's this is so. just comfortable right now in the bed right here. She's probably gonna be in it for the rest of the time because I got the floor. Bitch ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I gotta stop calling people niggas. I got It happens, I try not to, I'm but I'm then it happens and it's like, man, it's so. I learned that new you Nerd stuff when we start. Uh, <laughs> Discussing the last X Men movie and how bad it was. We want some nerd shit right now. We having discussions. Like I said, and my my thing is why the Magneto in all the X Men movies and the, these last few X Men movies, he's always picking up shit in the last part of the movie. Let me tell you what it is. If you don't know, basically it's like twenty five Power Rangers fighting each other. <laughs> it's like. Former Power Rangers, like it's basically Power Rangers Civil War, um, <laughs> um, and uh, and so if you go to the dash order dash movie dot com, confusing, the dash order dash movie dot com, then you can watch the trailer. There's a couple, I think, teasers maybe there, um, and we're releasing trailer two next week. Actually, it might be Monday. I think Monday. Uh, so there's a little bit more revealed, a little bit more of my character revealed. However, my character that I'm playing in the trailer um, was originally Jason Frank's character. He was Tommy the White Ranger, but he was busy so he couldn't do it. Um, and so I had to play his character, and I don't know what's going to happen for the movie. They, they've been thinking about like recasting me as like having somebody else that has got a huge name to bring in a bigger draw. Um, and then I'm going to play like a different character or whatever. So, but it's it's gonna be cool. There's a lot of fight. If you like Power Rangers fighting each other, I guess. Yeah. That's pretty much all we're doing. You know, you want to fight. Yes. What was probably your favorite character in terms of Black Panther? Like, voice characters that you typically kind of. Whether it was Nero's or Swords. Swords. What was probably your favorite character? Um. Nero's is pretty cool, yeah. It's like a sword motorcycle, and uh, and his his arms, the voice acting. Yeah, it was very difficult. It was not something planned, actually. Um, uh, I guess I'll just tell you this. Um, so, if you don't know, I'm half Asian. In the mornings, you can tell because I'm like that guy's Asian. I know it's racist. Half of me is offended. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so after Power Rangers, 
uh, trying to get a job or any of that, like as an actor, it was very tough for me. Um, I was very fortunate to land the gig on Power Rangers. Um, but then afterwards, anything that I was sent out on, there was never like a half Asian role, you know? And so anytime I got sent in, it was like, they're looking for an Asian, there's always some dude that was much more Asian than me, you know? <laughs> And, uh, or if I was sent out for a role that was like Caucasian, there's always some other dude that's much more Caucasian. Like me, that is like, we don't know what you are. <laughs> like, uh, you could be Hispanic, we don't know. Uh, and so it's really hard for me to get a job, actually. So it kind of fell into a bit of a depression. And um, basically, I had this guitar in my closet that I was like, that I bought. I was like, I'm gonna learn to play, I never did. And so I grabbed that, started teaching myself how to play. And uh, that's, that's a whole different story. But anyways, I started a band called I Shine. You can check us out, E-Y-E-S-H-I-N-E. -E. We got like 15 albums. Bet you didn't know that. Um, and, uh, but, but anyways, and so I was going through this depression, you know, and then the music actually brought me out of it. And I was like, okay, maybe I can start acting again. Luckily, the guys from Power Rangers, uh, the stunt guys, they're all this Japanese stunt team, Alpha Stunts and Koichi Sakamoto, they're gonna do an action film. And so they wanted me to, because like I'm a martial artist, they're like, oh, let's bring Johnny in and have him play the lead character. And so it was basically a stunt film for them. Um, so I got to do a ton of action, uh, got hit by a car, nearly died a couple times, like for real. Um, the, the film was called Extreme Heist, or Wicked Game Extreme Heist, depending on where you are in the world. Um, you can probably watch most of it on YouTube. Um, it's pretty cheesy, but it's all action. Um, anyways, so. The move, the, there's Japanese, all Japanese guys. The camera was Japanese, but the sound guys weren't Japanese. And so getting the sound out of the camera, something happened and got screwed up. And so I had to go in and dub myself at the end of the film, once it was all complete. And so I'm dubbing myself and the producer walks in, he hears my voice, he's like, hey, you got a good hero voice. I was like, ah, oh, cool, thank you, bro, so. And he's like, no, 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 I um, got this animation that I'm doing, I want you to come in and audition for me. And I was like, sweet, because I wanted to keep acting. Um, so I go in and they show me this clip and they show it to me in English and this character's got a very deep voice and then they show me in the Japanese and it's totally different and it's high pitched and kind of crazy and they're like, can you do something like the Japanese? And I was like, I can try it. And so I auditioned and a couple weeks later they said, you are fashion try again. And so that was my audition. So it's a total clue. And I get asked this so many times like, hey, uh, what would be a voice actor? What do I do? What'd you do? What'd you do? I'm like, well, I worked with some Japanese stunt guys, and uh, the audio got screwed up. I dubbed myself, oh, and the producer happened to be doing anime, asked, and walked in and asked me to audition. So it's kind of hard for me to kind of give somebody some actual advice, if, you know, from my perspective, I guess. It's so weird, yeah. What's that? We're in our cities, our civilian wardrobe, and there's this like palm tree, it's got like, it's kind of like steps or whatever, and Jason and I, we're all, we're doing backflips off of this tree, right? And so he'd spot me and I'd spot him and his style, he'd run and he'd take three steps off the tree and backflip and I'd put my hand there just in case he would, I needed a little lift, you know. He's a heavy guy, I can only do this much, right? Same for me, you know, he, when I would run, I would actually bounce off the ground and bounce off the tree like a frog, right? So I was in character. Uh, but anyway, so he'd run three steps, boom, and he's good. Me, I'd bounce off, bounce off. We'd been doing this for a long time, like an hour or whatever. And um, one moment he's coming running towards me and then he's like, I'm just gonna keep going. I didn't know what that meant. You know, in my head, I'm like, you're having so much fun, you're like, I'm gonna keep doing this forever. Uh, so that's how I was like, okay, whatever, man. And so he runs, and I'm counting, one, two, three, and I put my hand out, four, five, five and a half. I was like, wait, what? Oh, is that what I meant? I'm gonna keep going up the tree? <laughs> um, as I'm looking up, he's now coming down towards me, head first. <laughs> He tells this story differently, by the way. <laughs> and so I did what anybody would do. You all right? <laughs> and then he had this cut under his eye. You know, it's, it's kind of bad. Not that it is bad. Because it's bleeding and whatnot, right? And so and I was like, you better go get this checked out. And uh, so he went, and we got yelled at, and cussed at, and so much trouble. Anyway, so he blamed me for that, you know? But I always think, man, how was I gonna catch him? Like seriously, he's coming head down, you know, towards me. 
one dude is crouching my face, mine and his. Like, I don't even think I can hold him there, you know? It doesn't even make sense to me. Um, so, so anyways, this is how he got back at me. We are still in Australia shooting the movie, and uh, we're in this van, this lady's driving us across this desert, and uh, Jason Frank and I are in the middle seat, and the girls are in the back, and the windows are open. And I don't know why I thought this, don't any of you do, do this ever, or say this, because it's dumb. Windows are open, and out loud, for whatever reason, I was like, it'd be kind of cool if I climbed out this window. I went onto the roof, climbed in on the other side, while she was driving 50 miles an hour. <laughs> and then Jason's like, you won't do it. <laughs> and I was like, dude, are you I will climb out of this window right now. He's like, nah. It's like, dude, seriously, I will climb out this window, get on the roof, and climb out on the other side. No, you're chicken. He's <laughs> like, not chicken. I'm a frog. And so I climb out the window. It's moving 50 miles an hour, and I get up on the roof. And inside a car at 50 miles an hour, you can stick your hand out the window and go, hmm, it's like cotton. You know, or you can go, you can do this thing. Um, but I was on top of the roof and it felt like free fall. It was like, <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is so stupid. Why did I think that this was a good idea? Um, and so I was to think, well, at least I should finish up and go in on the other side. This lady kept going 50 miles an hour, by the way. She didn't even slow down. And so I'm about to slide over, and then the van starts swerving. And my legs are like going from side to side. I'm like, she's trying to kill me, you know? And so I pull myself over to, to yell at her through the windshield, and I see her panicked face like this. Because Jason Frank has reached past her and is pulling at the wheel. Trying to throw me from this van at 50 miles an hour. I was like, oh crap, he's trying to kill me because of the thing on his eye from the tree. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm gonna get in on the other side. So I get in and I look down at the open window and there he is rolling it up. <laughs> Finally the driver, she starts hitting him and he rolls it down and I climb in and finish this stupid thing that I did. I mean, she didn't slow down at all. You believe that? Anyways, that's how he got me back. He actually tried to kill me. <laughs> so when you see him, Talk to him about that. I heard uh, you tried to kill Johnny. Bam. Yeah. Look at that, yeah. <laughs> yes, approachable at first, um, but then we started hanging out and yeah, it was cool. Um, but those guys are great. It was a lot of fun actually going there. Um, I did have fun. Do you guys, how many of you guys actually watch Power Rangers? Okay, so you guys remember, any of you remember Power Rangers in Space as well? Yeah. Um, um, you watch what? The German version? What? Oh, really? But, oh, it's like my face, but in German? Did they use a German-Asian accent? <laughs> Curious. Um, oh, I don't know. I didn't know you were a little kid. Um, do you speak German? No. It almost sounded like, duh. <laughs> duh. Duh. All right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, so I've heard that you always wanted Adam to die on the Power Rangers show. Yeah. And so, wow. I've always wondered, why did you want him to die? And how would you want him to die? Well, all right, well, in space and Power Rangers is the thing I get to talk about. But thank you guys. I want to thank you guys all for coming. Um, and, uh, and do I have autographs right after this again? Oh, so I have a break in them. So 3.30 I have autographs. Okay. So, all right. So in the first movie, if you haven't seen Power Rangers, you don't need to rush out and go see it. Uh, we're just superheroes. And we lose our powers and we have to find our inner animal spirit. And then we can become Power Rangers again. So we go to this other planet. Um, to find our inner animal spirit, and, and we all do, you know, and everyone's got really cool stuff, like a bear, a gorilla, a wolf, you know, a falcon, um, and I get a frog. <laughs> um, in the script, though, in the script originally, she goes, there, you're the cunning or whatever, wolf, or whatever, and she gets to me and she's like, you're the frog, quick, 
fast. It was something to do with speed, I remember. Because we'd shot like a whole sequence where I was like chopsticks trying to catch flies, but I couldn't. And so I pulled out my like, Power Ranger gun and started shooting them all. <laughs> and we shot a bunch of other stuff that never made it into any DVD or special feature. Um, and so that was going to be my character's thing, is like being really fast, but then that all got cut and dropped out in the editing room. <laughs> yeah. And so, and so, right. And so I'm reading the script, and I'm like, and okay, so let me tell you, this is old. So the first script, Black Ranger had a ton of action sequences. Rewrite came out like in a couple days, and all those action sequences were given to another ranger. I was like, what? And then the producer came, and they're like, so yeah, I'm sure you've read the script. Uh, they complained, and uh, they said they had seniority over you. You're newer, so you don't get to have as many uh, scenes or anything. Um, and so I was like, oh, that sucks. And so I was bummed about that, you know? So anyways, we get to that scene um, where we're all like this, whatever, the frog's fast. I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, the frog's not fast. I'm still kind of depressed with the I've ever taken my stuff or whatever. And then I asked the director, I was like, hey, can I just be bummed out? Frogs are not fast. I used to catch them in the backyard. You know, can I just be bummed out? Like, I don't know. And then it's like, well, let's do it like the script first, and then we'll try it your way. And so I got to add something to the film. It was just me being bummed and I'm a frog, you know? Um, and so in the second movie, you know, in the second movie, Tommy gets a race car. The new kid gets a monster truck. And everybody's got cool vehicles. And I get a green minivan. <laughs> I'm always the crotch of the Megazord or something. Um, and so I thought back to that, you know, being able to approach the director at the time and being able to adjust the frog thing or whatever. And I was like, it's perfect. I was like, you know, maybe I could complain to Zordon, you know, and I could be like, look, I was a frog. And now I'm like, a minivan? I don't even have a family. You know? <laughs> I thought it'd make a good moment or throwback to the first film. Um, but then the producer was like, Johnny. You're not the funny. And I was like, oh, okay. And so I didn't get to do that, unfortunately. But uh, if I had to choose which one was worse, it was the min minivan, for sure. Huh? All right. Um, also because the inside of the minivan was trash. It was disgusting. It was not as cool as they made it seem in the movie. Like they built that thing that was like a lot bigger than an actual minivan. Um, but like inside the minivan was like, I don't know, man, it was like, it was like, uh, I don't know, like a rape van or something. It like, <laughs> looks terrible. Like it, there might have been drugs and cocaine in the back. This was filthy. The seats were ripped out. It just trash bags and like the windows were all blacked out. It was weird. It felt uncomfortable driving it. Um, I hope I wasn't inappropriate at any moment <laughs> during this. But uh, thank you guys so much for coming. I said I uh, uh, I do have, uh, I think, another panel tomorrow. Um, I have another panel tomorrow. I will tell some other stories. Oh, yeah, it says Sailor Moon. Oh, wait, it's not just me. So, after a long, careful deliberation of what we were about to do, didn't really vlog much earlier, having too much fun. But, I guess we're about to go out. We just got dressed. After taking our old asses hours to figure out what we're gonna do. I was gonna stay, but these guys, well, Daryl had a, uh, what is that word called? Uh, blackmail me to come out with this picture. If I didn't come out, and get dressed, I would have like, he would have post up. Hey, he would have put a picture out of me on Facebook and Instagram, which I didn't want, because it's a really unpleasant video, a really, a really unpleasant, unpleasant picture. See that? See, I'm tired. I can't really talk. Should have stayed in, Daryl. You know, I deleted that like 30 seconds after you started getting dressed. The fuck. <laughs> See, that's that bullshit I gotta deal with. You know what, James? You can go to hell. So now we're about to go to the party. I usually be in the Marriott, but they switched it. Now it's on the other side of downtown, which is like over near the, I don't know, where is it? The Civic Center, the Excel Center. 
So now we gotta go all the way over there. I guess we're walking because we don't wanna go up and get the car. I'm too tired for this shit. See you guys in the next video.